Esta es una entrevista a una mujer descendiente de hindúes y los problemas que tuvo con las tradiciones de sus padres al buscar una pareja con quien casarse. Primero analicemos algunas frases y palabras. Nosotros nacimos y fuimos criados aquí. We were born and raised here. Ellos querían que seamos la perfecta mezcla. They wanted us to be the perfect blend. Las palabras kind of en las primeras tres oraciones significa algo más o menos. Era algo de esperarse. It was kind of expected. Éramos más o menos americanos e hindúes. We were kind of American and Indian. Ellos como que retrocedieron. They kind of stepped back. A veces este kind of suena kinda. They kind of stepped back. El kind of de la última oración significa clase de. ¿Qué clase de reacción negativa recibiste? What kind of negative reaction did you get? Matrimonial ads. Anuncios en el periódico u otro medio de personas buscando pareja para casarse. De ninguna manera. No way. Las palabras big deal a menudo significan gran cosa, algo importante. ¿Qué tan importante era eso? How big of a deal was that? A menos que encuentre alguien por mí misma. Unless I find someone on my own. Dime cómo fue ese proceso, mientras echamos un vistazo a la foto. Tell me what that process was like as we take a look at the picture. Los tíos y tías más viejos que me hubieran dado problemas. The older aunts and uncles who would have given me problems. Hasta ahora todo está bien. So far so good. La cultura nunca es un problema. Culture is never an issue. Yo crecí aquí e igualmente él. I grew up here and so did he. Westernized, occidentalizado, rather than, en vez de, on the other hand, por otro lado. La palabra luni significa loco, tunes. Melodías, algo así como Melodías Locas. Ese era un programa de televisión en donde reunían personajes como Porky, Bugs Bunny, etc. Ahora pasemos a escuchar la entrevista. Well, my parents came to the United States of America in the 60s and they had us here, my sister and I. We were born and raised here. And they raised us to be American and Indian. They wanted us to be the perfect blend. So it was kind of expected because we were kind of American and Indian. They thought, you know, if they find someone when they're in school and they bring someone home to us, it would be okay. But if they haven't found anyone by the time they're 22 or 23, they need to get an arranged marriage. So, so that's I, what happened to you? Well, I turned 22 and I still hadn't found the man of my dreams. <laughs> so my family started saying, okay, we need to find you someone. You need to look in these matrimonial ads. You've got websites online. And I said, no way. I was born here. I was raised here. I know I follow all the cultural norms of the United States of America. I'm an American. And I'm not just going to sit there and sacrifice my entire life yeah, for well, someone I don't know. Well, let's stop right there because some would say that you had become westernized and that you certainly didn't want to, to, to go uh, uh, the traditional or cultural way um, for, for you. So how big of a deal was that, uh, just for you to say that? And, and what kind of um, negative reaction did you get as a result of it? Well, 
I have to say, first of all, that I am pretty lucky that my parents are more cooler than some other Indian parents. So when I first said it, and I said that I'm not going to get married unless I find someone on my own, there was a very negative reaction. They said, you can't do that. People will talk about you. You're not allowed to live single as an Indian girl. What will people say? What will our family say? You know, my parents, I think, were more worried about what other people were going to say rather than being worried themselves. But on the other hand, they wanted me to be happy, so they kind of stepped back and let me do my thing. But as the years passed by and I still wasn't married, they started putting the pressure on and they kept trying to convince me that a, an arranged marriage would be a good idea because they had one and so many people around me had one. Okay. And, you know, they just, they did get mad. I, I, I hear you. Now, you found someone and you married a white man. Yes, and, I did. And tell me what that process was like as we'll take a look at the picture uh, of your husband. Well, I met him and since um, I, I just came home one day and I said I found the man I want to marry and when I told them that he was white they were completely shocked because I think they just had assumed on some level that I was gonna marry an Indian man one day and they actually accepted that fact right away but the problems for me came from extended family and you would think that it would be the older aunts and uncles who would have given me problems or who would have come and said things to my parents but uh, most of the problems came from people who were of my generation some of my cousins and friends and family who had been raised here and were born here they were the ones who were saying things like you cannot marry outside of your culture your marriage will be ruined it's not gonna last you're gonna get divorced he's gonna leave you he's white you're Indian you have nothing in common with him well well how long have you guys been married now uh, nine months and, and and so far so good we are extremely happy and culture is never an issue I mean he's from Wisconsin I'm from Minnesota we grew up eating cereal in front of the TV and watching Looney Tunes I mean there's just there's no cultural differences for us because we grew up in the same way and so what those family members were saying to us really didn't apply because sure. I grew up here and so did he.